my name is Kelly McElligott and I'm one of the educators here with Bywater Solutions and I have this tutorial on how to show you, the patron, how to place a hold for a book on your public library catalog. So here we are on a public library catalog powered by Koha. Yours may be slightly different and that's the advantage with um, public library catalogs that they can customize their catalog for their patrons. So this is just a sample catalog and I'm going to go ahead and log into my account um, to, to place a hold on an item. So you do need to be logged into your library account to place a hold for an item at your library. So over here I have my login. I'm going to go ahead, I have my login and my password already in there and then I can just go ahead and go ahead and log in. I also have this search bar so I can go ahead and search for any book and see if my library has it and if I can put it on hold. I'm going to go ahead and type in a title and I'm just going to hit that go button. Oh, and here it is. This is the new Tom Hanks. They're short stories so that's great. That's exactly what I was told to read. So I'm going to go ahead and right over here on the right hand side I have that place hold button. I'm going to go ahead and place that hold. Now here I can just, I'm just going to confirm my hold. It's going to default to my pickup location of where my, li my library card is from is the West Branch and then I can go ahead and hit that confirm bu button. If your library allows it and you can choose a different um, pickup branch you can always change that from here. But I'm going to go ahead and hit confirm. And now I can see the holds that are set up um, on my account and whether they're um, pending. And I can also suspend them if I needed to. If I knew I was going out of town for the holidays, I can always suspend um, the hold and put in a date saying I'm going to be back on the 5th and then to go ahead and suspend that hold. I'm not going to do that now. But I'm, I'm going to look for one more book. I'm going to do that standard regular library search. And here I have a I have I got a lot more searches than my other title search. I got about 4045, but I wanted to show you in the brief results here. I can also place a hold on this view also. I can go ahead and go just place a hold right there. And again, I have that same screen and I can go ahead and confirm that hold. Okay. Now I'm going to go back to my summary and I just want to show you one more quick thing while I have you here. Um, I actually want to show you that I have this book checked out. I'm going to go ahead and click it and see the entire um, the details for this book that I have currently checked out to my system. And I have this little tab called Comments. So my library allows me to place comments on a book um, and they would have to approve those comments before they show up. But I have that ability to go ahead and post a comment on this book. So I have here comments on the book. This is another great And again, it does tell me that this comment has to be improved first by a librarian before it will show up. And I can go ahead and submit and close that, that window. So as soon as that the librarian goes ahead and approves it, then other patrons of my library can see my comments. So again, this was just a short tutorial on how to place holds on your OPAC and also to place comments. Thanks so much for watching this patron tutorial on placing a hold on the OPAC. This is a production of Bywater Solutions and have a great day.